Benedict, let's just start with the main event today. Amazing pictures. What are or what is the significance of this flight? Yes, good morning from Berlin. So we saw the A350 take to the skies about half an hour ago at exactly 10 o'clock. So perfectly on time for a, a plane that has had some delays in the past and the whole industry has suffered delays, but not so today. Perfectly on time, took off. It's now up there above the clouds, performing what will probably be a couple of hours of flight tests. There's six crew on board. Uh, back on the ground, we could see Tom Enders, the CEO of EADS. We could see Fabrice Brigier all congratulating one another, thousands of people waiting wildly so a real milestone for the company but as you said um, EADS remains cautious they say look first flight is great but there's there's lots of work ahead of us to get this plane certified to get it into service by the end of next year so they're being careful even though this is a special day for them today um, so what happens Benedict in the coming months before the first delivery so this is the first of five A350s that they are going to build purely for test reasons. So they will fly many thousands of test hours with this plane, perform all sorts of heat and cold tests, uh, make sure all the systems are right to get it ready for certification. Um, the fact that it's flying today doesn't mean that the program is out of the woods, and Airbus has said that continuously in the past. We have seen multiple delays, for instance, on the Dreamliner, even after the first flight, more than a dozen, uh, half a dozen delays. So. Um, there might be small glitches, there might be major issues, there might be signs of fatigue, redesign, who knows, it could be something small, it could be something major, um, but the next months will be crucial in time of the first delivery to Qatar Airways at the end of next year.